So it says uh, it says for an uh, RLC series of circuit, and it's giving me the component values, resistance, inductance, and capacitance. And um, while it's asking me for at what frequency is the maximum power dissipated, uh, it's telling me that I have a, a variable frequency AC source. And even though the question isn't telling me directly whether it's a, a voltage or current, I think there are, are many good reasons to think it's really a volt, AC voltage source that the question is talking about. Uh, because um, if it's a current source, then the power dissipated in the register won't depend on frequency. So, so let me say it's a AC voltage source and work through the rest of the question that way. So this is what the circuit looks like. I think I've drawn this several times. This is my AC source, some time dependent um, voltage. And I have my register and inductor and capacitor. And I guess uh, I should uh, again put out a disclaimer that I'm actually going about it the long way. I can do this um, much more quickly, like within five seconds, if I want you to. But, um, but I'm taking it the long way to show how, um, how AC circuit analysis is similar to DC circuit analysis and with the use of complex impedance that a lot of AC circuit analysis can be done quite simply. So inductor has impedance, I omega L, and capacitor has impedance, um, one over I omega C. And, um, and if we are interested in power dissipated in the register, then this is what we are looking for the average power dissipated in register. If I already say average, um, that's given by, well, um, average, well, you can put this a, a few different ways, I guess. Uh, let me put it this way. The I as a function of time squared, time average times R. Uh, or uh, in the complex, uh, in terms of the complex functions we'll be using, this uh, average, the quantity can be expressed as the I complex conjugate times the function itself divided by two, that'll give you this average quantity times R. So really what uh, maximizing the average power comes down to is really maximizing the I squared quantity because the resistance will be constant. So once you have maximized current, then you've maximized power dissipated in the register. So um, the expression for the current is given by the voltage divided by the equivalent impedance. And with a series RLC circuit, the equivalent impedance is quite simple. You add these register-like elements, like registers in series. So it'll be, um, so the resistance R plus, and the other two impedances will have uh, I in front. And I've done this calculation several times before, so I'm just gonna write down the result. I times omega L minus one over omega C. So the question of maximizing current, hence maximizing the power dissipated in the register, it really comes down to minimizing this denominator, which means, um, I guess getting rid of this imaginary quantity, which is the only quantity we can do anything about. R here, that's fixed. Whatever we do with the frequency, R won't go away. But we can set frequency in such a way that this will be equal to zero. And this is awfully sounding like a resonance, um, resonance frequency. And that's really what it's asking. Um, so the question that's asking here, um, the answer you find here will be basically the same as the resonance frequency, uh, which is, um, let me write it down. So the resonant angular frequency, if you solve this expression here, is gonna be 
1 over square root of LC. And since that's angular frequency and you want your final answer in Hertz, you have to divide this by two pi. So now, uh, so that's gonna be the answer. Uh, one over two pi times the square root of LC. Uh, plug in the numbers, mind your, uh, you know, metric prefixes and uh, you'll get the answer. Um, and uh, the value of resistance doesn't even matter it, because uh, it, this is the frequency at which the inductor and the capacitor kind of cancel each other out. So um, now quality factor is uh, <laughs> something that I won't remember 100%. <laughs> I can tell you that it's uh, related to the, um, well, I guess there are many different uh, meanings you can assign to it. The meaning I like to assign as a default is uh, uh, how, it's a measure of how narrow your resonance is. So with an RLC circuit, your resonance, uh, that is, I guess, the amplitude of oscillation of current as a function of angular frequency omega is going to look something like this. It'll peak at some place. This is gonna be my uh, resonance frequency and it's going to have some width. And, um, and um, and quality factor, roughly speaking, can be uh, described as the resonance frequency divided by the width, so that um, the narrower the width, the higher the quality factor. Um, so that's uh, kind of the rough idea behind the quality factor. Now, um, I don't quite remember offhand what the, how this delta omega is defined. It could be defined as a full width at half maximum. That's a common way to do it. Uh, it could be defined some other way. So what I'm going to do is instead of guessing and wasting your time, I'm just gonna look it up in the textbook <laughs> because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm linking to the section and I can simply... <laughs> so this is the situation where I would recommend, yeah, look up the formula because uh, uh, it's good to have conceptual understanding. Uh, it's good to kind of know uh, what these things are getting at. But at some point, certain conventions and whatnot, uh, yeah. And uh, how did they define delta omega bandwidth resonance peak defined it? Uh, yeah, but, but okay, okay. So they are defining the power is greater than, so um, So if I try to do full width half maximum in terms of current, I would have gotten a different answer. So, but they do it in terms of power, which I think is fine. <laughs> and doing it that way, this is the formula that they drive. So, um, so yeah, let me just uh, plug that in. Um, or I guess I don't have to plug it in. Um, so we got omega naught as part of my answer, our answer to part A, you have inductance and um, resistance, so we just uh, simply have um, omega naught or one over square root of LC times L divided by R. Let me just make sure I copied it correctly. Yeah. So, so that's the quality factor, and uh, and it comes from this uh, idea of the the ratio of the um, the the resonant frequency to the width. And the place where you always have to look up is how they are defining the width. And uh, there's in almost any context, there's a couple different ways you can define it. And, um, and you just have to know um, which, uh, what your uh, colleagues or your um, coworkers are using. You, the consistency matters more than um, what metric is exactly the correct metric. 